Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I would like to share some secret iPad tips and tricks, uh, which I recently discovered that I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, hopefully these will enhance your use of the iPad. And just so you know, you're looking at an iPad 4 here on the screen with iOS 6 running on it. These tips apply to iPad mini, iPad 2, and iPad 3 as well. So let's dive in and see what we got here. Okay, so the first thing I want to go over is where you can invert the whole color scheme of your iPad. So it's going to invert all the colors and going to give you a black theme. So you go into settings. Okay, navigate to general accessibility and just click on where it says invert colors and boom you've got a black theme what happened here was the whole color scheme uh, across the iPad was inverted so wherever you look you're gonna see the negative of the actual color so then you go back to that and you press on and we're back to normal okay so if you want a different color scheme a different theme this is it now the second trick is where you can actually restrict people that have accessed your iPad from accessing certain applications. So if you don't want your son to go to the internet, you can restrict the Safari application with the password protection. So let's go to settings. And in general, in the main menu, you go to restrictions on the top. You have to pick a passcode the first time you enter. Mine is already good to go. So I'm putting that in. And here you see a list of apps that you can turn on or off. So as you can see, Safari is off, and that means nobody can access it. Let's turn a couple more off. Turn the camera off, turn FaceTime, and turn Siri off. So nobody can use Siri anymore on this iPad. Okay? Turn the iTunes off too. Let's go to Home. And if you look at the Home screen, you do not see Safari. So nobody can access that app. Go back to settings, restrictions, it's going to ask for a passcode every single time. And then turn them all on. In fact, let's turn all of them on, go back to home, and as you can see at the bottom corner, you'll see Safari, in which you can access now. So this is a nice trick if you want to restrict access to your apps for other users. So this trick is where you can have the iPad actually dictate paragraphs to you. So let's go to settings and um, under accessibility just make sure speak selection is on and let's go home and uh, launch notes and then uh, select a paragraph here and as you can see once you select the portion of the paragraph you want you have an option that says speak click that Clean and grade cable is used for running cables through the ductwork. It is at least five times more expensive than regular cable. And you get a nice little dictation where iPad speaks to you. And then you can go back and turn it off if you want. The next trick is an easy one. It has to do with scrolling. Go to Safari and let's go all the way to the bottom of this page. So you scroll all the way down. And once you're down, let's say you want to go back up. What are you going to do? Are you going to scroll all the way back up? Which you can. But there's a shortcut. All you have to do is tap the status bar, the black status bar, and it jumps right back to the top. So this is a nice shortcut for people that read pages that are very, very long. So the next trick has to do with uh, docking and undocking the keyboard. Some kind of weird trick. So let's go to Safari and pull up the keyboard. Hold on one second. Okay, so there's a the keyboard. And if you press and hold, the docking button you have a couple options uh, oops you can click the split and that I think a lot of people know but then if you pull it back up let's put it back together you can also undock the keyboard so it just starts floating in the middle for some reason but I've never actually seen that before uh, I suppose that is good for some applications but uh, here's another trick for you so put it back on the dock and we're good to go okay so this trick is about hand gestures. So if you didn't know about these, these are very useful little gestures. So you can do this using your four, four fingers, slide up, and your multitasking bar appears, and tap to go back. And if you launch any application, 
you can switch between applications using your four, four fingers, uh, left to right, right to left, whatever, okay? And then you can pinch the whole screen with all your fingers to exit from an application. So these are some useful hand gestures for quickly moving about in your iPad. Okay, so the next uh, trick is where you can actually increase the size of your text. So go to general, go to uh, the main screen and accessibility, and then at the uh, top there it says large text. You can pick the size of your text. So if you exit and let's uh, launch a notes application, you will see that the text is now magnified to the amount of times that you chose. So go back to the setting and you can increase the size go back over and there you go so that's bigger size for you and I don't like that so I'm going to turn it off but for people that have difficulty seeing text this is the perfect method to increase the size okay so we come to the final secret where you can actually create keyboard shortcuts for long phrases that you use over and over and over all the time so let's uh, demonstrate this to make you understand better go to settings and then uh, in general go to keyboard at the bottom you'll see a place called shortcuts as you can see ILU is assigned to I love you and OMW is uh, assigned to on my way let's make a brand new one so the phrase I want to create is oh my god okay and I want to assign a short shortcut to this saying um, O M G and then click save on the top and then let's go out to the um, to an application. Let's go to Notepad and create a brand new note. And then when the keyboard comes up, when you type pin OMG, you get a suggestion saying, oh my god. Oops, that was the wrong one. So let's type in OMG one more time. You press space to fill it in automatically. Let's do the other ones that we just looked at. So let's do ILU, which is I love you press space boom it's right there okay and let's do the other one O M W press space boom you got the whole thing right there so you can go and create all these beautiful keyboard shortcuts for phrases that you use a lot and you can use this in your text messages so this is an excellent little tip for heavy textures alright so we come to the end of this video I've shown you I think nine or ten tips here that I think were not very widely known as the other uh, tips and tricks. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And um, you can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Twitter for you know uh, updates to come. And uh, thank you again for watching this video. Have a good day now.